even though we have a lot of big buildings and we got people hungry. I'm I talk so much about constraints. I revere them. And then, for some strange reason, when my own life imposed them upon me, rather than embrace the constraints, I I shied away from them. It's bizarre how you can truly have these deeply ingrained beliefs that you're passionate about, and yet still become blindsided when it's your life. Because it's your life. I would imagine what was possible for me to make if they weren't there. I was on a rooftop with one of my best friends, who I am so grateful for, and it took hearing her words to remember mine. What would you create, really, if you were in New York and you weren't struggling, if you had all the time in the world, if you had the space without having to pay for it, if everything was what you're dreaming of, and all of the circumstances were what you wanted, would you really have the same things to say? Whereas these constraints that haunt me, that pain me, that have sent me reeling out of my own identity, out of my own skin, how beautiful would it be if these constraints that are agony to me now become the very things that push me to make something that sets, sets it all apart, something different? How beautiful if the constraints become the very differentiating factor because everything else that's out there is not born of them. If I say that there isn't enough time, my Monday through Friday doesn't allow a window long enough or a window golden enough to make something for you. I'm reeling constantly. I'm moving from one place to the next, conflicted between trying to catch my breath and wanting to sacrifice my present moment to capture the moment for somebody else. I've been searching for a solution, and maybe this is the right one. If I don't have enough time for a perfect video, for the perfect lighting, for the circumstances in which all the variables point in my favor, why not just run the other way? Why not just eliminate all the variables and just speak my soul into this phone? If I'm torn between giving all my attention and my energy and my awareness towards the person in front of me that I'm trying to connect with, even if that person is me, if I want to eradicate the ephemerality of the moment and in doing so to diminish its beauty to me, if you know, trying to preserve something means that I never truly had it. If I'm torn between those two things, then why not push back? Why do I have to choose? Why can't I put my camera on a tripod and let it roll and let it capture what it will? Why not automate that process and in the process teach myself restraint? I want to feel and I want to see through my eyes. I want to document with my lens. I'm overwhelmed by visions of the shot that I could get. I'm overwhelmed by compositions and angles and by the illusion that the next shot will be the better shot. What if rather than doing that, I impose the constraint to just pick one and stick with it. In the midst of all this motion, all this movement, in the midst of this crazy dynamic industrial city, isn't there truth to that? 
and their honesty to that and to use this form that I have at my disposal to search for stillness to pause to linger and to savor the moment.